How's it going guys? This video is four things that worry me about Paper Mario the Origami King. Now, Nintendo just released a new trailer for Paper Mario, which addressed a few questions that many fans of the series had. Unfortunately though, we're still left with a good deal of questions, but uh, let's go ahead and dive into four different things that still worry me about the new Paper Mario trailer. Number one is definitely the confetti bag. While we don't have definitive info on this quite yet, what concerns me is that this bag feels eerily similar to the paint mechanic in Color Splash. Now, we weren't shown any footage of how you go about refilling the bag, or if this is even a mechanic in the game, but there are a couple different shots that show Mario's bag looking pretty empty, which leads me to think that you will definitely need to refill this somehow. Some other YouTubers have pointed out already, uh, you don't really seem to be that many holes in the world, which varies from Color Splash because obviously you don't need to go around whacking everywhere just to get paint on it. Um, but the trailers from what we've seen so far, there are very few areas where this confetti is used. And the first trailer even shows Mario throwing confetti while riding in the boat, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, I'm a little concerned that we might be heading into Color Splash territory. There's some obvious differences here, and we're just going to need to wait and see. Number two, we finally have confirmation that there are actual names to the individual characters in the game. Uh, this is awesome! Uh, the bob that's shown in the trailer's name is Bobby, and that's great news. Uh, Nintendo appear appears to have finally realized that fans want this, and this is a great step in the right direction for the series. But... Even though many people online are saying that this confirms that there will be fully fledged teammates in the game, I personally am still pretty skeptical on this. Uh, this is mostly because the footage we see uh, shows these additional quote unquote partner characters attacking the enemies in battles. And this doesn't mean that these will actually be partners that we can use in each and every single battle on an ongoing basis. Nintendo also calls these characters allies, and I have a hunch that from what we've been shown gameplay-wise, there's a good chance that these allies are not going to be the same as the partner characters that we saw in the original Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Like I mentioned earlier, don't get me wrong, this is for sure a great step in the right direction, and even if this is the case, uh, I really do wish that these were playable characters that always got their own turns and battle cycles. Um, I, I also do think it's really cool that they continuously appear to follow you around the world and maybe even have special abilities there that you can use. That's awesome. We're just going to have to wait and see once again where this goes. Number three would be the lack of XP. Uh, potentially, I should throw that in there. You know, with some previous entries to the series, a lot of times I found myself personally just ending up avoiding battles altogether after a certain point, because it felt like there was no real reason to continue fighting. If there's no XP system worked into the game, why would players go through the monotony of fighting? And from the trailer this time, all that we really know is that after battles finish, Mario appears to receive some coins as an award for winning. I've seen some people online saying that underneath the section that shows the coins earned has a few blank lines, and one of these lines could very well be for the XP that is earned, but I don't know about this. This seems a little far-fetched, and I really hope that this is the case, but with no mention of XP anywhere else that we've seen so far in any of the trailer, I am a bit concerned. With a lack of XP and no real incentive to enter and stay in battles aside from boss fights, this could be a major flaw in this game that once again soils an overall enjoyable experience. Finally number 4, and the number one thing that worries me the most about Paper Mario the Origami King so far are the boss battles. Now I understand some people are really into the real world items turned into baddie battles, but for me, I would rather have seen Nintendo create fully fledged Mario World bosses that instead used 
the items as weapons, instead of the items being turned into bosses themselves. To me, this just feels boring. And going way too heavily on the craft theme of the paper in Paper Mario. I'm worried that fighting a giant rubber band monster or a case of colored pencils is going to feel gimmicky and lackluster, and instead of an epic boss battle uh, with an awesome Mario World boss. I could be completely wrong, and these battles might be more epic than I could have ever imagined, but from what I have seen in the trailer so far, I'm pretty skeptical. Anyways guys, next time I promise to be covering things that I actually did like from the trailer, <laughs> I promise, so be sure to check that out too. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye bye.